What's up, everybody? Cigar Sherpa Laird Mayhew back with another cigar review. And today I've got the Dama Velada from American Viking Cigar Company and Robusto. Stay tuned. I can smoke Stogies in my house, first of all, because her father introduced me to Stogies, and second of all, because I'm a stud. I'm ballsy. I don't take no shit from anyone. I smoke my Stogie anywhere I want. I don't have to find a hideout place like you. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Welcome back. Welcome back to another installment here at Cigar Sherpa. I, of course, am your host, Laird Mayhew. And if it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. If it's not your first time here, welcome back. All right, so all you nerds out there that watch uh, cigar reviews, you're obviously watching my channel, and I appreciate it a lot. Everybody that watches cigar reviews on YouTube knows who Tim Swanson is. They know cigars daily. If not, you should. Okay, uh, this cigar here is a brand new line of from Tim Swanson himself and Cigars Daily, okay? Now, if you don't watch his review, uh, I'm going to tell you about him and the cigar. If you already do, just bear with us for the folks that may not know that have been sleeping under a rock for the last, uh, you know, really two years that I know of, but at least the last year when Cigars Daily started. Um, so, long story short, uh, Tim Swanson does an outstanding cigar review. He's probably got the best uh, on-screen presence. He's very knowledgeable. He's very into what he does, and I enjoy his review. The negative side of his review that I get from people, this is not my opinion, this is what I get from people like, hey, you like this guy, is the fact that he sells cigars, okay? So he's doing a review, and he's trying to sell you the cigar he's doing the review on. So the chances of him getting up there saying, this cigar sucks, I don't like it, but buy it anyway, is few and far between. But I do believe that he is sincere in the reviews he's given. And if there is a cigar out there that he does sell that uh, he does not like, he's just not going to post a review on it that I've seen. And that's my opinion there. Getting to his uh, this cigar, this is a blend of... He started his own brand. So this is where I got respect for the guy, okay? This is a guy that didn't grow up in uh, a tobacco growing you know, industry. He didn't grow up in the cigar industry. I think he grew up in like Arizona, okay, is, is what I believe. Um, and just kind of fell in love with cigars and initially figured out a way to turn his passion into a living. And if you can do that, bro, you are not working another day in your life. And my hat is tipped to you, sir, for being able to do that. Um, what, I, what I do here is just an extension of my passion for cigars. I don't make any money at it. I just haven't figured out a way to do it. You know, I enjoy the business I'm in. I run my own business. But uh, when you can find your passion, if you're out there and you like cigars, but there's something else you like, whether it's fishing, hunting, playing chess. I mean, if you pay me to hunt, I would be the happiest man every day getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning, lugging myself out to the woods. Uh, you know, but there you go. So, another criticism, okay, that I've heard talking about the release of American Viking cigars just in conversations at the Cigar Lounge online forums back and forth is the fact that he doesn't come from a cigar upbringing. How did, what the hell does he know about blending cigars and getting his own line and blah, 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 blah. And my opinion is the opposite, okay? Matter of fact, I think that as a man that sells cigars, okay, and reviews cigars, he has smoked a whole, he smoked them all, okay? Even something that maybe is not in his wheelhouse is going to smoke it, eh, you know. So he has a very, very, very broad palate. So he comes together and says, I'm going to make this uh, brand. This is the blend that I like after, you know, maybe, you know, someone else blending it. He's, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe he's in on the process. What I'm saying is, he has a very, very, very discriminatory palate, so I believe that when he is blending for taste or, or tasting a cigar that he wants to put his name on, you're going to get a, a, a very good complex cigar. Now, I ordered three cigars from Cigars Daily. Uh, the Dama Velada is the one I'm going to do the review on. The Box Press Rebellion Robusto that I got, I smoked it yesterday. I absolutely love that cigar. It was great. I mean, it had chocolatey, woody, uh, uh, it had sweet, earthy, just very, very good, dark um, flavors. Uh, I've got the, I got another one in there. I can't remember what it, what it was, but uh, this is the newest one uh, because the Box Press Rebellion, the Box Press Rebellion and the Orbigado, whatever it's called, they were Cigars Daily house blends. This is one that they have specifically brought out for the American Viking Cigar Company launch. So let's get into it. It has got, it's a Nicaraguan Puro. So it's got a Nicaraguan uh, Habano Rosado Oscuro Luz. What does that mean? It's a light Oscuro. Luz means light. Okay. Beautiful wrapper. I mean, it's, it's got like a slight oily sheen to it. 
It's got very tight visible seams. It looks to have got a double cap on it that is put on pretty nicely. Very well constructed cigar. It's slightly soft, not too firm. The smell on it kind of threw me for a loop because it's got like a peppery smell. But it's got like a peppery, grassy hay or a peppery barnyard smell. And the foot has just got like kind of an earthy tobacco um, flavor so or smell let's get into it I'm gonna give it a cut and a light and come back and tell you what I think about it from there stay tuned all right all right all right right on the light up of course I'm a retro hailing guy right from the start it's got a good black pepper on the retro hail kind of a burn it's lingering I've got a, a leathery, a, just a leathery, peppery taste on the um, palate. Um, it's got a very, pretty long finish in the retro hail, especially right from the beginning so far. I mean, it's still lingering. I'm still trying to let, let that go away. Got my eye burning a little bit, but uh, Nicaraguan Puro. I'm going to get that, uh, that pepperiness. There's kind of a bitter tang on there that I'm not really digging so far. I mean, that could just be from the light up, but um, kind of a almost a sweet like tobacco core, um, black pepper and leather. Let me get into the uh, first third, come back and tell you what I think about it from there. Stay tuned. All right, all right, all right. I am back for the, uh, I'm in the first third now. We're about 10 minutes into it. I don't know if I mentioned this is the Robusto. It's a five by 50, my absolute all time favorite size cigar. Uh, so far, the cigar is developing. It's developing slowly. I uh, started off with just a, a leather, peppery spice, and, and a slight sweetness was developing. That slight sweetness is still there. Um, it's, it's, it's got a like a sweet tobacco core, okay? Uh, a good leather note and, and, and a slight black pepper. It's got like a long finish. It's not very strong, um, but it does get me in the back of the throat. The retro hail has gotten real smooth. The pepper... That was in the retro hail. It's kind of like non-existent no more. It doesn't even, maybe in the back end, you can kind of pick it up. It's got like a sweet um, note on the retro hail, maybe a brown sugar, um, but still young tasting, if that makes any sense. Um, I really like this wrapper, though. I'm going to tell you right now, um, it does remind me of, slightly, okay, of the A.J. Fernandez Last Call Habano uh, cigar. It's got that same... I don't know. It just reminds me of it. Okay. And I don't like to do that. I like to compare cigars, you know, like, oh, okay. Cause I like to smoke cigars for what they are. Not because if I want a last call, I'll smoke a last call, but it does, it is reminiscent of the last call. It does kind of have it, that uh, grassy hay note to it. And now that I've ashed it and I'm getting, you know, further into it, the sweetness is starting to develop a little bit. And that brown sugar um, note that I'm getting is mixing in with the leather and it's kind of transitioning. So let me get into the second third, come back and tell you what I think about it from there. Stay tuned. All right, all right. Second third, we're into it halfway through, just at about 19 and a half, 20 minutes into this stick. And it's developed a little bit. It's kind of transitioned. That sweetness kind of, uh, it's the sweetness is really on the palate. Um, the black pepper in the retro hell kind of comes back and it goes from, and I didn't say it before, but it was a medium plus. Um, stick in, in, in first third, but here in the second third, it kind of ramps up to a medium plus, almost to a full body. Um, the flavors that I'm getting are, uh, man, it, it's definitely got a leather note to it. The leather note in this cigar is very prominent. Uh, the black pepper, it kind of went away in the first third, but then it kind of, it comes back and it's, it really coats your mouth um, with like an oily finish. But at the same time, it's kind of dry. No, weird, like a dry, oily finish. Um, I'm, I'm really enjoying the, the the sweet, earthy note. I'm really enjoying the leather note and the pepper. About the only thing that I could say about it, and again, I, I'm no expert on cigars. I think maybe it's just young. Maybe it needs some age because the it does pick up like a black coffee, like a like a like an espresso 
But you know, if you get the, the little the, the 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 lemon rind that's on a uh, espresso cup, when you rub, the, a lot of people like to rub the rim of the espresso glass with the with the lemon. So I don't want to call it a citrus, but it does have kind of a bitter tang to it that I'm not a big fan of. But overall, cigar smoking great. Again, this is the uh, Dama Velada. Uh, I smoked the the uh, Box Press Rebellion yesterday. Man, I, I, I got to get another one of those and uh, a few more of those actually and, and do a review on that one. I really believe if you watch my reviews and I've never steered you wrong or you kind of like my my palate. When I tell you the Box Press Rebellion is a good cigar, that means you should go out and, and buy it. I think you're going to like it. This one here, I'm on the fence about, okay? It's just got uh, that, that tang that, I, that I'm not really digging. But if you like peppery and you like leather and you like a slight, uh, that slight, I would call it a brown sugar, okay? It's got a slight sweetness to it, earthy. And again, that wrapper is great. I can definitely taste the wrapper and I can it gives me a, a remnant of the the last call by AJ Fernandez in the Habano Rosado wrapper. Um, I'm going to get into the final third, come back and tell you what I think about it from there. Stay tuned. All right, all right, all right. We are in the final third and we're getting down to the nub here. My fingers are starting to get a little hot. It's just a little uneven on one side, but overall this thing has burned great. Um, the draw has been absolutely perfect on there. The construction on this cigar is top notch, okay? I, I, I will give you that. It is a top notch constructed cigar. As far as the flavor transition coming into the final third, that brown sugar uh, sweetness, it, 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 it's slight, but it does pick up and gives it more of a sweet core. Uh, that's enjoyable. The leather note stayed all the way through. Leather, um, pepper, and uh, the coffee, okay? The black coffee that comes in, that espresso coffee, it's kind of a bitter, okay? It's a, like, Espresso is, is bitter, but it's bitter in a good way. Um, about the only thing that I'm not really digging is that 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 zesty tang. Okay, it's not citrus. Um, I don't know what it is, and it's maybe it's just uh, youth, I guess. But it's not unenjoyable. Okay, I'm just telling you, if I'm grading it, this is what I like. This is what I like. This is what I typically don't like in a cigar is that tanginess. Now, if you like a little tang or citrus on your cigars, then you're going to be happy. Um, overall, I'm happy with the cigar. I, I like it. I don't like it as much as the Box Press Rebellion, but everybody's got their own taste. Um, it does leave a, a nice oily finish. I said that before, okay? And it's peppery. It's in the back of my throat. And here in the final third, the strength picks up. And I'm almost getting a, uh, like a, chocolatey maybe just slightly okay just here towards the end it's getting kind of like like a sweeter dark chocolate because i guess it's that brown sugar nuance that i'm getting but overall this is a good cigar my hat's off to you sir um like i said the box press rebellion uh, I, I liked a lot more i'm going to get more of those i'm going to do a review on that and then i've got the other one that i don't can't even pronounce it the obrigado um i'm going to definitely smoke that one so uh American Viking Cigar Company. Y'all need to check it out. It, you can find them at uh, Cigars Daily. Uh, they have their own website, and this is a cigar brand that you're going to be able to find, and you can already find in some brick-and-mortar shop. So here's, like I said, here's a guy that went from cigar lover to cigar salesman to cigar internet salesman or internet sales. Uh, started off with uh, Bradley uh, over at uh, TNT Cigars, and they had a great review. Those two together, uh, you know, whatever happened, happened. People, you know, things evolve. But if you want to watch a good cigar review, go back and watch. Not that Tim Swanson's at Cigars Daily isn't good, but if you go back and watch Tim and Bradley together, they were a smash hit, and I really enjoyed those. I was sad to see that end, but uh, check them out. I definitely hi highly recommend this cigar, and definitely check out the Box Press Rebellion. Don't wait for the review. You're going to freaking like it. So Cigar Sherpa Laird Mayhew reminding you to be polite to everybody that you meet, but always have a backup plan in case you got to shoot him in the face. And I'm out.